welcome to the EKG Guy. If this is your first time, I'm so glad you're joining us. So I wanted to go over this question here uh, that we posted to make sure everyone's on the same page. So this question says, which of the following is present? It then gives four different rhythms, A, normal sinus rhythm, B, atrial flutter, C, atrial fibrillation, or D, ventricular tachycardia. And then you have uh, this EKG here, okay? You have the limb leads, and then you have somewhat of a rhythm strip. Okay, so from this, you can actually interpret uh, the underlying rhythm, at least differentiate between these four types. Now, that's not always the case with some rhythms, but certainly here you can do that. So when looking here, you know, one of the first things I'm looking for uh, is to see where the rhythm is actually originating from. And one of the main things I look at first is the regularity of the rhythm. Okay, is it regular or irregular? Okay, and then if it's irregular, I ask myself, is this a regularly irregular rhythm or irregularly irregular rhythm? So if you look here, you know, one way we can do that is by looking at the R wave. So if we imagine here's an R wave, okay, and here's another R wave, this interval is called the R to R interval. And if you notice between this R to R interval and the one that follows, they're different in duration, okay? And if you looked at this to the following one and those that uh, follow that, they're also irregular, okay? It's not only irregular, but this is an irregularly irregular rhythm. Okay, so already knowing that, uh, I can kind of already get rid of some of them here. So normal sinus rhythm. Sinus rhythm is a regular rhythm originating from the sinus node in which you have uh, this organized rhythm originating from the SA node and conducting through, okay? Now here we don't any see First of all, there's no P waves that we can clearly make out, okay? And we don't see them uh, upright in some of these leads, specifically two, three, AVF, okay, or inverted in, uh, AVR, okay? So, you know, certainly sinus rhythm is unlikely present given the irregularity of the rhythm in the absence of the P waves. You know, atrial flutter, okay, that's an, also an option, and you can have an irregular rhythm, okay, where you have variable conduction through the AV node in atrial flutter, uh, but that's not the case here. You know, atrial flutter, you wouldn't see all this disorganized uh, P waves here. You'd see more flutter waves that are more regular, okay? which may be inverted uh, or upright. Usually we'll use three, okay, or lead two and V1. V1's not shown here to help make out the, the regularity of the flutter waves, okay? So fl atrial flutter is not present here uh, in this case. Uh, atrial fibrillation, okay, this is one where you have the rhythm originating from the atria, as the name implies. This is chaotic firing of atrial ectopic foci in the atria, and some of them get through, okay? In this case, because they're coming from all different areas in the atria, okay, there's a few different mechanisms that propose, but we won't discuss it here. Uh, you can have uh, eventually some making it through, okay? And because they're going so fast uh, and bombarding that AV node, not all of them conduct through, and they actually come through at an irregularly irregular rhythm, or at least that's what we see uh, in conduction through the ventricles. So uh, that actually fits the diagnosis here. Now, in terms of ventricular tachycardia, just to ensure we know that this is a ventricular rhythm, often a wide, and it's often regular, okay? Sometimes it can be slightly irregular, but generally think of ventricular tachycardia as a wide, fast rhythm originating from the ventricles um, with a wide QRS, okay? The QRS here uh, not very wide in uh, in this case, okay? So unlikely, uh, and first of all, also, this is not a tachycardia, right? Meaning a rhythm in adults over 100 beats per minute. Uh, in this case, it's much slower. Uh, so ventricular tachycardia is not uh, correct. The correct answer here is atrial fibrillation, okay? And so hopefully you got that. Uh, one that you certainly don't want to miss because atrial fibrillation is one that certainly changes our management in our patients and how we treat them, you know, what are some targets, whether it's rate or rhythm control, and it does have prognostic, uh, you know, implications for our patients and the therapies they should be on. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Again, this rhythm here is atrial fibrillation, given the irregularly irregular nature of it, the absence of clear defined P waves present here uh, as well. Okay, well, that's the end of this lesson here. I hope you found it helpful and I hope you learned something. Have a great day.